Let's talk about one of the most powerful yet often overlooked tools in crypto trading. It's a resource that's available to everyone, yet few truly understand how to harness its potential. We're going to delve into a tool that can give you a significant advantage in the market, offering insights that go beyond simple price charts and indicators. The Order Book. It's a real-time list of every single buy and sell order that's currently active on an exchange. Think of it as a constantly updating ledger of intentions, showing exactly what traders are willing to pay or accept for a particular cryptocurrency at any given moment. For a cryptocurrency on an exchange, a transparent window into the market's mind. It reveals the collective sentiment of buyers and sellers providing clues about potential price movements and market turning points. Think of it as seeing all the offers and asks for a house, updated every second. You can see exactly what people are willing to pay, and what others are asking for their property. This gives you a huge edge. You see real buy and sell pressure, not just price history. You can identify potential support and resistance levels, and anticipate market reactions before they happen. Every major exchange has an order book for each trading pair, and it's open to everyone. This means you have access to a wealth of information, regardless of your trading experience or account size. By learning to read it, you move from guessing to understanding why prices move. You'll gain a deeper understanding of market dynamics and be able to make more informed trading decisions. You can spot where big players are betting and where prices might stall or surge. Identifying these key levels can help you time your entries and exits more effectively. The order book doesn't predict the future but it lets you make smarter, more educated guesses. It provides valuable context and helps you assess the probabilities of different outcomes. It's a skill that separates casual traders from serious ones. It's about moving beyond speculation and developing a data-driven approach to trading. And the best part? It's free and easier to learn than you think. Don't be intimidated by the numbers and the constant updates. Forget the complicated stuff for now. Mastering the order book is fundamental. It's the foundation upon which you can build a more sophisticated trading strategy. Let's break it down. We'll start with the basics and gradually build your understanding of this powerful tool. At the heart of every order book, the very essence of price discovery are buyers and sellers, each with their own strategies and objectives. These participants are the driving forces, the very energies that move the market, dictating whether prices rise, fall, or remain stable. The order book is neatly split into two distinct columns, bids, representing all the buy orders, and asks, which are the sell orders waiting to be executed? Bids are essentially buyers declaring, I'm willing to pay this price or even a bit lower to acquire this asset. Asks, conversely, are sellers announcing, I'm prepared to sell at this price or perhaps a little higher to part with my holdings. The highest bid and the lowest ask represent the market's immediate battleground, the front lines where buyers and sellers directly clash. When a bid perfectly aligns with an ask, when the price expectations meet, a trade is executed. A transaction occurs, simple as that. If you place a limit buy order, you're essentially joining the ranks of the bidders, and if you place a limit sell order, you become part of the asking side. This constant dynamic back and forth between buyers and sellers is the real-time tug of war, the ongoing negotiation that ultimately determines the price of the asset. The order book in essence is a collection of unmatched orders patiently waiting for their turn to be filled. The dynamic interplay between bids and asks, the constant push and pull, reveals potential areas where the price might encounter support, preventing further declines or resistance, hindering further advances. Watch this intricate dance unfold, and you'll begin to decipher the story of market sentiment, the collective mood of all participants, as it unfolds in real time. It might seem chaotic at first glance, but it's an incredibly informative window into the market's inner workings. Before diving deeper into trading strategies, let's solidify our understanding of some essential terms. These concepts are the building blocks of market analysis and crucial for making informed decisions. We'll be covering bid, ask, spread, and liquidity. Understanding these four elements will empower you to interpret market dynamics effectively. The highest bid is the maximum price that someone is willing to pay for a particular asset at a specific moment. It represents the strongest buying interest in the market. Conversely, the lowest ask is the minimum price that someone is willing to sell the asset for. This reflects the lowest price sellers are prepared to accept. The spread is the difference or gap between the highest bid and the lowest ask. It's a key indicator of market efficiency and cost. 
A tight spread where the bid and ask prices are very close together generally indicates a high level of trading activity and a strong consensus on the asset's value. Conversely, a wide spread suggests either lower trading volume or increased volatility, reflecting greater uncertainty about the asset's fair price. Think of the spread as a built-in transaction cost. It's the price you effectively pay to enter or exit a trade immediately. Liquidity refers to how easily you can buy or sell an asset without significantly impacting its price. It's a measure of market depth and efficiency. A book stacked with orders at numerous price levels is considered highly liquid. This indicates a robust market with plenty of buyers and sellers. High liquidity is particularly beneficial for executing large trades without causing substantial price slippage. Thin books characterized by a scarcity of orders imply riskier trades due to potential price volatility. In a thinly traded market, a single large order can exert a disproportionate influence causing the price to fluctuate dramatically. So, to recap, bids represent buy orders reflecting the demand side of the market. Asks are sell orders indicating the supply side and the willingness of holders to part with their assets. The spread is the gap between these buy and sell orders, representing the cost of immediacy. And liquidity is the depth of the order book, showing the available volume at different price levels. Master these concepts and you're well on your way to reading the market's alphabet with confidence. It's the fundamental knowledge upon which every smart trading decision is built. Understanding these terms is the bedrock of successful trading. How does the order book help you spot price moves? Look for imbalances. A huge stack of buy orders at one price, a buy wall, signals strong support. A big sell wall means resistance. Price will struggle to break through. For example, if Bitcoin has a massive buy wall at $60,000, it's likely to bounce there. If there's a big sell wall at $61,000, that's a ceiling. Watch how these walls appear, move, or vanish. Sometimes it's real. Sometimes it's market manipulation like spoofing. The order book gives you live clues about where price might turn. It's more than a chart. It's the market's pulse. Spot the flow, and you're ahead of the crowd. Order books can look overwhelming but focus on the big picture. Look for large orders, these are your support and resistance levels. Use a depth chart to spot buy and sell walls visually. Always check the spread before trading, a tight spread means healthy liquidity. Watch the trade history, lots of big buys, bullish, big sells, bearish. The order book shows intent, the trade history shows action. Observe how walls build and disappear, how the spread changes and how price reacts. Just watching for a few minutes can teach you a lot, it's like reading the waves before you surf. With practice, you'll develop an intuitive feel for the market. That's how pros spot key signals. Order books aren't perfect, they can be manipulated. Spoofing is when big players place fake orders to trick others, then pull them. Iceberg orders hide big trades by breaking them into small visible chunks. So, sometimes the biggest moves are the ones you can't see. You don't need to be a high-frequency trader to benefit. Watch for patterns, big walls, spread changes and order flow over minutes, not milliseconds. These signals are visible to anyone paying attention. Reading the order book adds crucial context to your trading. It's not a crystal ball but it reveals the forces behind price moves. Use it to find better entries, exits and trade with more confidence.